Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospects here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Apoel against Olympiakos. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Look at the lineups. on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looking for a decent ball in. Aimed in towards the centre. Firmly met. Tries a through ball. And a shot! Look, they've got to be careful with that because any player who gets a sniff of goal from that range might be just able to come up with something special in the moment. So it's not a good policy to stand back and admire that. They really have to work together to get to that quicker. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. He's out on the left now. So what now? That'll be a throw. Now the pass. He's picked him out. Oh, surely that deserved better. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. as yet Brown day plays it out to the wing ball has crossed the line and it's a throw With the ball through. Goal! Olympiakos! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Look, you can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough. And in that instance, he was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. Olympiakos draw first blood here. 
Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Passes it through. Has a pop! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he was right in front of goal, and he probably should have scored, to be fair. Well, are still behind as we reach out for half time. Spoon forward. Masuaku. It's Masuaku. Big chance, corner. Smart save. Looks like a good ball through. And the first 45 minutes are up. I honestly don't think they need to change anything in this second half. They just need to believe in themselves, stick to the game plan, and I'm sure they can turn this scoreline round. the way again well I'm sure the managers talk the talk and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing Tries to get it forward quickly down a day A throw in. That's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Applewell still chasing a one goal deficit here. to make a change here. He's got good distance on that. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's brown it in. to slip it through, gets into some space, plenty waiting in the middle, promising cross, who's ball, who's going to get that? They've got it and here they come another time, cut out in the nick of time, and out to safety. It's looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. Well, it doesn't have to be pretty now, just direct and into that box. Tries a through ball. Flags up. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Well, that longer ball, if played early enough, can catch a defence by surprise. Now, they got the offside decision there, but they should prepare themselves for more of the same. Round a day. Aim forward. And 
the referee brings it to a close. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Do you know, after the goal, I thought they had time on their side to get back into this match, but that stubborn opposition defence, they always looked that little bit too strong. All that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.